Hi everyone, this is Amma Duncan. I'm founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. A friend of mine has been trying to book an appointment with me forever so I can teach her how to do, how to create her own Google phone. And we are never able to meet, so I thought I would do a video for her. And then I thought, hey, others might be interested, so let me put this on YouTube and that's why you're watching this. So I'm just going to teach you a, a simple thing, that is how to create your own Google form so you can use it to do your surveys or what. In my case, I use it for when I have events so people can fill a form and then um, I get the information so I can reach out to them. So the first thing you need, obviously, is to have your internet. I have Wi-Fi on right now. Um, and then you use um, you need a Gmail account. I have several, so I'm going to use one of them. And the browser I am going to use. See, I have three different browsers. I have Firefox, I have Chrome, and I have Safari. But for this purpose, I want to use Google Chrome because it's their product. So you just click on the browser, and because it's Google Chrome, this is what pops up. If it's another browser, something else might come, but you want to go to google.com if you're not using Google Chrome. And then you click on here, which says, I hope you can see clearly. Let me just shift this right here a little. Okay, so you click on what says Google Apps, these dots. When you click on it, you will, the, these will pop up. All these are apps that are owned by Google. The one we want is this triangular one called Google Drive. So I'll click on it now and then something pops up. Now, like I said, I have several accounts in Google and this one is full. So I'm going to use my personal Google account. If you have one account, then it makes your life easy anyway. So now I've opened the drive. This is like a storage where you store your stuff in Google or in the cloud. Now to create the form, you go to new. I hope you can see me. Okay, so this is new. You click on new and you are looking for a Google form, but these are different options. This is file upload, folder upload, Google Docs and all that. That's not what you want. So you click on more. The minute I put my cursor on more, you see others pop up. So these are other things I can do. And what are we looking for? Google Forms. So you just click on it and then a new window opens that gives you a Google Form. So this is, you know, how it will look like in the beginning. And then the first thing we do is to give it a title. So for my title, I'm going to call it... Um, the fabulous woman speaks which is one of the events we have and whatever you put here as the title it will also automatically show here like this so that becomes the title of i just noticed my light is in the face of this so i'm just going to i hope that's better right now this space that says form description is where you put information about the form itself so let's say you just want to tell people about the event or in my case it's usually an event so you want to tell them hi guys um then blah 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 you want you type whatever it is you want to type then you add kind regards or whatever you know it's just giving them information about um the Thing, the, the form so before they fill it they just have information so usually I will sign like that uh, how do you spell network something is missing here yeah. yeah simple so this one you just decide what information you want to put in here and then these boxes are what we are going to, or this box is what you're going to use for the questions and you can create more of these. So the first question usually will be your name. Can you believe one time I forgot to put your name? 
and the, you see automatically it shows short answer because the smart device it uses AI or artificial intelligence to detect what kind of question you are asking but if you click here you see there are other options it can be a short answer it can be a paragraph multiple choice check boxes drop down many many more that you can explore later maybe for the purpose of this form we'll do a second or a third one so in order to create another box for questioning you click here add question let's say this one will ask um uh, let's see a random question let's see how did, did you hear of this event so this one is giving them options and you see it's choosing multiple choice so then um, I like multiple choice I'm going to maintain it that way or maybe check boxes let's use check boxes so then you have different boxes that can be checked so let's see whatsapp is my number one way there's facebook um the, oh sorry then there's linkedin so the more you just uh, the, as soon as you are done it's it's ask you if you want to create more options so there's linkedin um there's what twitter which i barely use and you can just go on and on so this one is check boxes this means that the, the person can actually have a, a number of options for the next one we'll do multiple choice um uh, would you like to receive receive is misspelled information about our app coming coming events so this is you see because the smart device it's able to tell that it's a multiple choice and you would want people to answer yes no so in my case you can actually use add all if i click add all everything will come like this right but then i may decide okay i don't want maybe to be an option or i want to add another option so things like this you just play around with it if you want to insert an image you just go here so for instance if this one I want to insert an image I just click here on the image and then I just go and find a random image ah this is a picture I took like how many years ago <laughs> so I'll just insert that as a random image that's me and my fabulous face um, for another one you can click and you know enter a video add a video if you want but in this case I don't want to um, you can also do a title so these ones what I'll just say is play around with it but basically what you need to know is to create any new box you have to click on add um, another thing is um, the background you can play around with it a bit to make it look the way you want so I would usually um, you you click on this so let me just go back sorry you, you click on this that says customize theme and once you do you can choose an image the image I choose will pop up here so choose an image um, let's take a random image usually I would go into my own pictures but I think I like this I've never used it so you click on that and see now it's popping up here and making it look nice the background color too you can play around with it currently is this um it can change to this i like this theme color see so it just changes color i like pink i think pink is beautiful although secretly i think it's not my favorite color <laughs> now the font style you can also change currently it's on basic but we can do this which is quite interesting or we can do playful i like playful i think we should all play right so then you close it um another thing that's you so basically i'm just talking about the basic things but you play around with it play like i did a lot of playing around to just teach myself how to use this and it's simple if i can do it trust me you can do it too this is for responses this is how we get it to look like an excel sheet when people actually complete the form if you want that 
you just click on create spreadsheet it's that simple you click on it you can either create a new one or it can be an existing spreadsheet which is fine and then you just click create and it opens you know it's that simple i don't want to do that now um yes another thing that i would want to briefly talk about is um when you click on settings it gives you a different a lot of different options which i really encourage you to click and then um play around with i usually click on collect emails because sometimes people don't put in their correct email addresses so once you click this the system will automatically take for you the correct emails and all these are options you can play around with um, another thing i like to do is come here uh, these ones just play around with this i won't talk about this now but confirmation message you might want to say thank you for completing this form you know blah 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 or something and then save it play around with all these save and then basically your form is ready actually but what i like to do is to send it to myself just to test it sometimes i send it to other people to test it and make sure that okay the form i filled is correct so right now i've sent it to myself via email so i'm going to open I, this is another form i created just to practice for this lesson so i'm going into my email right now and the form is here so i'm going to open it and then this is where you read through you make sure that it appears right and all you know is is that simple this is very very simple everything else i haven't talked about just play around with it so i've read through and i like it but this is how long the link is see i'm going to open um word and then paste the link you see how long it is it's not organized it's not nice so i usually shorten it and i use tiny url which is one of the best shortness i use or i have discovered that there are probably more so i go into tiny url and then i put the link in here and you can even customize it so let me customize it to maybe a short name the fabulous woman speaks maybe 2020 you know and then you just click make URL make tiny URL and then now this is how my URL looks like so you click here copy image I mean sorry copy to clipboard clipboard now I'm going to show you how our new um, URL or link looks like this is how short it is see it's very short so you you can test this on yourself you post it you you put it in your browser enter and then you see that your form now comes up so this is the form this short one is the form that you will send to people so usually when you are customizing as well make sure the name sort of makes sense to the person you are sending it to so basically that's simple I've shown you like the basic basic way of doing it and I'm going to leave it to you to practice and give me feedback okay I hope you've enjoyed this video you never know I might do more thank you have a great day once again this is Amma Duncan I'm founder of the fabulous woman network please subscribe to our channel so we can do more once you give us the encouragement and also you never know thank you bye